Hey guys, welcome to the Origin of Energy Overhead Pull Push Bend Workout. So this month I'm going to use an overhand grip for the pull up. So last month I did a rotational grip. So you can use different grips each month, mix it up, that way you get a slightly different stimulus. I like the rotational grip most, I find that's the most comfortable in the shoulder, but it's good to challenge the system, mix it up a little bit. I'm going to do an overhand grip overhead press uh, seated on the floor. Then I'm going to do a barbell deadlift as well, just nice and light, but I'll use a hip hinge locked knee because uh, I do a heavier deadlift day on a different day. So let's get into it, let's have a look. So for the overhand grip pull up using the rings, uh, if you are training with someone and someone's doing full body weight and then you're doing partial range, so you've got the feet on the ground, partial loading, sorry. Then an easy way to change it over is just use a chair rather than adjusting the rings each round. Uh, that way it's just quicker, easier, you're both using it. So I'm just going to do that here, getting that nice stretch position and getting that nice pull up. So I'm getting the shoulder blades to retract and depress, getting a pause there. Coming down, I'm going to hit probably six to eight reps this month on these because it's a heavier movement than the rotational grip. Uh, and do full body weight. You can of course do a jump pull up or a jump and eccentric loaded, just doing lower reps or just doing that uh, nice control descent into that dead thing. And then work towards getting a nice concentric on the way up rep. If you don't have rings, doing the tail setup and pulling wide will work really well. Uh, it is a lot more challenging with the tail setup to do a wide pull for the full body weight one where you've got the legs off the ground. So I recommend just keeping your toes on the ground and getting a nice movement there. But if you're strong enough to pull out wide with it, by all means get into that. That would be pretty tough. So for the overhead press, if you've only got a band, um, or if you've got dumbbells, great. And if you don't have a band, you can just do the body weight one on the floor. Uh, you can use the band with that overhand grip like that. This month I'm actually using the seated position, which seems easier in some respects because you're, you're not having to balance over your legs with the weight. But I'm doing a forward bend in the hip. You can straddle to make it a bit easier and I'm doing this so that that way I can strengthen my hip flexors when I do the overhead press to improve my pike position in the handstand. Uh, so here using the band, obviously because I'm sitting down and I'm not standing, I have to make the band tighter. So here hinging forward through the hip and pressing up. I'm going to use the barbell for these. So it's a fixed width. I'm not going to go that heavy on this lift because it is one of my weaker, vulnerable lifts for my neck. And it's something that I've really got to work on and concentrate with. So I'll save my heavier pushes for the dip and for ring push-ups. Uh, so you can use the band like that. By all means, do the overhead push like this. This is a very good exercise to do to develop that overhead pushing strength. Uh, I find these quite challenging. And you can raise your body up, raise your feet up. Uh, you can work it with three chairs. So you have one hand on each chair and uh, the feet on a chair. So you're going deeper and going to that full range of motion coming right down to here. I'm gonna work it with the barbell. And once my hips have warmed up, then I'm going to uh, have the legs together. It's quite hard to keep a nice park. I've done a little bit of mobility work already, but just maintaining that nice lumbar position for every rep. Getting nice width, not letting the elbows flare. Getting that nice hip hinge and not letting that lower back round it's tough. So for the deadlift, I'm going to, I'll use a barbell, but you're welcome to use single leg 
You can just do body weight, you can do the straight leg versions, which make it a lot more challenging if you don't have extra weight. Now, if you don't have any weights, but you do have a band, these are quite good, I like them. Uh, you stand on the band, but you want to get that even resistance. So you've got a decent amount of load at the top, but if you bend forward, you'll find that load kind of comes off. So all you do is get an extra pull, so you just let the back work a little bit more, so you're doing a pulling action as you go down into it, so you can maintain that resistance. You can do it with the straight leg as well. It does mean that you're going to fatigue that pull pattern a little bit more than what you would if you were just holding uh, a weight and having the arms straight. So I'm going to do these in between and it'll help me stretch more to get a better position for that pike press and for my pike handstand. And for me, I'm just going to hit three reps of those, but make sure that I'm activating those hip flexors when I go down. So that way I'm getting that nice control through there, which is what I find quite difficult. Let's get into it, 16 beeps. It's gonna be fun. Gonna hit some nice smooth reps. Use the breath.
are very light for me to hard. Actually all the movements are fairly light, but they're quite technical and skill based. There's a lot of awareness that goes into keeping good form for me. So I'm not going to push them too hard. In terms of loading and reps, because the skill level is quite high, so it's come up in that respect. stretch for my hip flexors engage in the bottom. So if you're doing that other leg, keep going, get into that. These are really simple programs, eight minutes. You really don't need a huge amount of time to train effectively if you focus. Obviously warming up and all of that takes a bit of extra time, but you've only got eight minutes, just go easy on the first couple of rounds and then put more into the third and the fourth round. on those, trying to feel that nice pike handstand position, which is not easy. If you're still going, you've got the other leg. The next beat, get into that. But yeah, nice simple workout, very practical. Just a matter of being consistent, getting the work done, being honest with yourself. As you can see, I mean, I'm trying, but it's not, I'm not overly stressing myself in that workout. It's more about technique, and that's what I want to develop, that nice control, especially through all the deep stabilizers in my neck, nice hip flexor control, nice open position in the shoulder, and focusing on that, because it's more about being able to train consistently for a long time than just going really heavy in one workout. So get into that, let me know how you go. See you soon.